feel like it's not a coincidence that I'm listening to this today. That is something that I think sixes do better than anybody. <laughs> if you love the Enneagram, you've probably heard about Sleeping at Last and his Enneagram songs. Chicago-based singer-songwriter, producer, composer extraordinaire Ryan O'Neill made this collection of songs based on each of the nine Enneagram personality types. Now, I am very ashamed to say this because I literally have a YouTube channel about the Enneagram and I am obsessed with the Enneagram, but I have not listened to all of the songs. I think I've heard one and it was my own type and I basically, in true personality fashion, I listened to my own type and I called it a day. I'm really excited to see how these songs add to the complexity of the Enneagram and just to kind of get this bit of pop culture that I can't believe I haven't listened to, but I'm gonna do it here for the channel. Well, let's get into it. Let's start with Enneagram type one. I believe that we can fix this over time. Okay, well, I was not expecting that to be as freaking beautiful as that was. I love this part. I want to sing a song worth singing. I'll write an anthem worth repeating. I want to feel the transformation, the melody of reformation. I think that so beautifully encapsulates the depth of a type one, and I am so guilty of this because I'm not a one, of, of seeing like the, the core motivations of the type one and then kind of moving on, but, but really understanding that of like wanting to live a life worth living, making things worth it, like good underneath, like that depth and that complexity, I feel like he really freaking nailed in this part but the list goes on forever of all the ways I could be better in my mind as if I could earn God's favor over time or at least congratulations. Like that idea that one struggle with it, they have to be earn their worth, earn the love, and just the realization that there is grace for you now. There is, you are loved and wanted and worthy now. You are good just as you are and that is beautiful. Um, Freaking, I can't even, I'm really worried for the rest of this video because I think I might cry. Okay, moving on. Let's look at any rem type two. Like a tide, we will make a mess. Cold waters, if that serves you best. I'll oh my God. <laughs> it's okay if you can't catch your breath. You can take the oxygen straight out of my own chest. I thought this song at first was like someone singing to a type two, but then I, as it was going on, I realized that it's the type two singing to someone else. And so it's their, it's what they give to the world. I think this is super helpful for me just as an Enneagram coach and like creator because this is going so much deeper than what I think about. <laughs> I know exactly how the rule goes, put my mask on first. No, I don't wanna talk about myself, tell me where it hurts. I think this song does a great job of showing how type twos evade their own needs and their own desires in order to serve others and how much it can kind of break them down. Oh, and I love the beginning where it's like, sweetheart, you look tired. Like, what did you eat? Let me feed you. Like, let me take your coat. It's warm, it's cozy in here because every two in my life makes me feel like that. Like, Becca, my friend, is an Enneagram two and she is, like, when you talk to her, it's like you're being wrapped up in like a warm wool coat and like just being taken care of and that is what this song feels like. Now let's do three. <laughs> I don't want to, but we will. Okay, this is my type. And I finally see myself I know that type threes have like the chameleon thing where kind of they become whatever anyone else wants them to be. You know, they, they, they dazzle when they need to dazzle. They um, 
are hospitable when they need to to welcome people and, and they, they are the chameleon. And particularly, like I grew up in the theater. I grew up as an actor. I went to school for theater. I, I act on this channel. Like a lot of what brings me joy is pretending to be someone else, but I just, it's just really beautiful to like think about like if you just, yeah, if I finally see myself through the eyes of no one else, like I'm not gonna be anyone else, but like who I am. And that's scary. What? I feel like it's not a coincidence that I'm listening to this today because just like personally, my mental health has been not good. I am so hard on myself to like the extent where like, I'm so angry at myself for not being what I think I should be. I just love that line. Now I only want to feel what's real to let my heart feel what it feels. Gold, silver, or bronze hold no value here where work and rest are equally revered. And I think that's something that I and like a lot of threes really need to work on are like, how do you rest well? How do you do restorative rest? How do you really care for yourself? And then the ending, I loved that. And leave my greatest failure on display, asterisk, worthy of love anyway. Even if you fail at everything, you're still worthy of love. That is what the Enneagram I feel like is all about. That's like what this is about. Next one. I just want to say my husband is a four and I think he would deeply appreciate the beauty and poetry of this. Like, I feel like this song, more than the other three that we just listened to, is so like poetic and lots of imagery is happening and that totally makes sense for type four. One day I'll wear all on my sleeve the insignificant with the sacred unique. I've noticed that um, Ryan or Sleeping at Last references God a lot, and this one in particular paints God as a creator, and everyone's like, oh, God is a creator, but like a artist. When you think about the complexity and the craziness of this universe, like if there is a creator, that he is extremely creative. How could you have DNA sequencing and koalas and I don't know, gravity all in the same place. Like, I don't know, it's just really beautiful and a beautiful way to look at, at um, creativity and, and how, how it, it goes over the entire world and how everything is made. Let's do type five. I, are, I think this is definitely intentional, but to have this progress bar going slowly as it as the song builds like this is so it's already so clever fives don't rush into things they are contemplative they take their time they're intentional and i have a feeling this entire bar is going to fill up before the song starts yep okay so lyrics didn't start until until two minutes and 12 seconds into the song fives have trouble reconciling between their emotions and their heart and their head because there's there's just two there's like a battle going on and so that idea of like a white flag of like surrender in that dark space like as you're trying to reconcile that that's freaking gorgeous i love how the fives lyric video has everything in a chunk as if the five has thought this entire thing through written through it gone through many drafts and has presented this of like okay these are my thoughts it's not stream of consciousness, it's like collected. And the first line I think is so good in describing like how type fives look at the world. I want to watch the universe expand. I want to break it into pieces small enough to understand 
and put it all back together again in the quiet of my private collection. I just totally like personifies the way that, first of all, that Fives are so deeply curious about the world and how much rest and um, comfort they take from withdrawing and having time alone to contemplate and to think about what this freaking confusing world is. All right, let's do type six. I, I'm getting like old Hollywood comfort movie vibes from this soundtrack. I don't know. Ooh, I love that for sixes. I want to believe. No, I choose to believe. The idea that like, because I feel like sixes are often looking for a safe haven, looking for how things are going to end. And what if you choose to believe that like you can find sanctuary on your own? Is that courage or faith to show up every day? And that is something that I think sixes do better than anybody as they show up every day. <laughs> well, that song takes you on a freaking journey. I love that imagery of in the beginning, you've, you're going up to heaven, but instead of looking up at, at where you're going, you're looking down and thinking about, oh my God, look how far away I am from earth. Look at the drop, like I'm so freaked out. This is so morbid, but like in some ways I find it comforting. Like we're all moving towards death, right? Um, it begins in the earth, um, it ends in the earth, and that's where we're all headed. And, and we can fill that time in between with fear and worry, or we can fill it with looking up at the heavens and, and rejoicing and, and having joy. And that's just so beautiful. Wow. Okay, on to type seven. <laughs> How nice it'd be if we could try everything. I'm serious. Make a list and just begin. I love that. What about danger? What about risk? Hey, let's just let's just climb this mountain before we cross the bridge. Like uh, already, the t the the tone of this is so much more like folky and like lighthearted than I, I think. Everything else has felt very like cinematic, and this feels like you're sitting around a campfire, which I feel like so matches a seven vibe. When everything feels heavy, I've learned to travel light. Type sevens are afraid of being trapped and deprived. So in their life, their coping mechanism is, you know, when things are hard, I'm only gonna pick up the, the bare minimum, the things that I need to, to go, my backpack, a granola bar, and you know, whatever you need to go. But I wanna be here, truly be here. To watch the ones that I love. Oh, that's good too. The desire that's coming out of these lyrics and that I think comes out of type sevens is that they they, they fear being trapped and deprived, so they chase the, that, ex, that stimulation and that that excitement, but what really, like, what really they crave is to know that they're gonna be taken care of and that things are gonna be okay and that they're going to bloom and watch others bloom like a garden. Like, yeah. Let's do um, Enneagram type eight. I need to find it though. Here we go. You won't see all that I have to lose and all I've lost in the fight to protect it. I won't let you in, I swear never again I can't afford, no I refuse to be rejected This, now you won't see all that I have to lose and all I've lost to protect it I won't let you in, I swore never again A type 8's, they, they do not want to be betrayed They don't want to be hurt and I love that this song opens up with um, eights as, as a child learning like, okay, I if I don't protect myself, no one else is gonna do it for me. So I'm gonna pick up this armor, it's freaking heavy, but I'm gonna put it on and then you never take it off because eights just will not be hurt. They do not wanna be hurt. So they just carry this heavy burden through their whole lives. Again, I can't afford to let myself be I think this song is something that anyone who 
who has an eight in their life should listen to because it does a really good job of illustrating how, like if you feel like an eight is like steamrolling you in your life or you feel like, oh my God, why are they always like doing all the things and making decisions and stuff like that. Like they are protecting themselves. They, it's coming from a place of hurt it, the, and it's covering up this like vulnerable child that they are guarding and protecting. And I think it just, just goes to show like love on your type eights. They may look like the strongest person in your life, but they need big hug and a lot of support. I love how these songs start with your vulnerabilities and the things that are really challenging about being your type and they end with freedom and, and how to break free in, into more health and just more ease and I love the conclusion that Sleeping At Last comes to of like, I am strong enough to let you in. Like vulnerability is really tough for eights and to be strong enough, to be vulnerable, to kind of take that armor off is a huge deal and it should be celebrated. Let's go in for the last one, Enneagram type nine. And I read that Ryan wrote this last cause he is a type nine and, he, and it was difficult for him to write. So I'm curious to see what a type nine song is like written by a type nine. Am I to say what any of this means? Just first observation, this is the least amount of music, like background music that has started a song. Like it is so minimal. This is such a good, beautiful anthem for type nines. Like, wake up, like wage war, there's so much worth fighting for. And I love the detail of like, he was 14 when he felt like he's been sleepwalking since he was a kid. If you're a nine and you're watching this and you feel like you're sleepwalking, like take these words to heart. Like this is just so good. Another I love that imagery of the domino of like, hey, like if you're gonna, like if you wanna wake up and you wanna wage war and and fight for it like one step at a time. I could be very wrong. That could be not what that means, but it feels like it means like one domino after the next domino after the next domino, like just take one step after the next. It's uncomfortable, but right. Getting out of your comfort zone, is, it, is, it doesn't feel good, but it, it will push you and make you feel alive. Well, that was quite the experience. If you have not listened to these songs, I will link them all in the description down below. Um, listen to them in entirety. It's just absolutely stunning. It really captures the Enneagram types in a really visceral way and a really, um, in, in, with imagery that I think gets so much more across than just reading a book about it. Um, this is a, a place for you to learn more about the Enneagram if you are new here. I put out new videos every Thursday. Um, most of them are funny and like and educational. Um, this one got a little um, deeper than usual. I don't really like getting deep because feelings are hard, but it's important. And I, and I really do think that's what the Enneagram is about is just, is going deeper than, than our day to day life and, and really looking at ourselves and, um, and, and getting to know ourselves better so that we can be better for ourselves and for others.